Hi, I'm Joe Banks from Narva. Uh, I'm the Product Development Manager here. And today I'm going to show you some of the testing we're doing on a driving light we're developing here, the Narva 215 LED driving light. Before you torture it, we torture it as best we can to ensure you're not going to have any issues. And we have a number of pieces of equipment here to do that. We have a submersion tank over here and we have a rain chamber here, which is what we're going to show you some of the testing we do today. In this particular test, we're doing it in an unpowered state. Set the spray arms up, depending on the actual type of test you're doing. And what you'll see here is the unit is sprayed from all angles by the spray bar and by all directions as the product spins around on the turntable. Next, we'll give it a dunk in the submersion tank where we power the lamp and submerge it in a tank of water here. Same sort of effect you get as river crossing. So this lamp is actually a lamp with a breather. So rather than being entirely sealed, it's sealed but with a Gore-Tex breather vent on the back, which allows the air pressure inside the lamp to balance. But once submerged, the vent actually locks and seals against any water coming in or out. The last piece of equipment we have here is our temperature and humidity oven. So this piece of equipment is very, very useful for testing paint finishes, glues, resins and plastics because it allows us to have a controlled temperature and humidity in the chamber here. So rather than just temperature, we have humidity as well. So after running through this test here, along with the other ones, we end up with a knowledge that we know the product is going to survive in the real world in the harsh conditions it's actually going to see here because we've been able to recreate in the lab here conditions equal to or more severe than you're actually going to see in the real world. We're here in the uh, Nava light lab and we're testing our brand new 215 LED driving lamp. In this particular case, we've got it set up to run on the 25 meter photo cell, which is through this slot down the end of the wall here. We also have a five meter photo cell here for measuring signal lamps. We're able to work out how far the beam is going to go down the road and how wide the beam is. Uh, you can also see up here on the screen, we can also take a snapshot of the output of the light as it is at the moment. 